Karen. If you're new to my channel, bienvenidos. If you're one of my awesome subscribers, welcome back. So if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I'm normally sitting down in my room home office and we're normally talking about my hair. Today is not about my hair, we're in the kitchen. Like I told you guys in my intro that we are gonna be chopping it up. We're gonna be doing skin regimens. We're gonna be talking about nursing school. We're doing a bunch of stuff. So I know I've been missing in action for a little bit, but I actually just wanted to make sure that I was able to get my cooks lined up because I told you we're getting cooks from all over the world to show you guys how to make some of their best dishes. So it's kind of been taking me a while to get my lineup in place. Uh, you know, when you're dealing with other people, it's hard to get them to do what they say they're going to do. Uh -huh. So I've, I've been waiting for that, but then I said enough is enough. Instead of waiting, I'm going to show you guys what I'm making for dinner tonight. Tonight, I'm going to be making lamb. Now, I decided to record this because I was on a Zoom meeting yesterday and I mentioned to the lady that I was talking to that um, I seasoned my lamb and I put it in the fridge for me to make tomorrow. And so she said, oh, you're making lamb? You must really know how to cook. And I was like, what? Lamb is super easy to make. So, I was like, um, I'm gonna make a video about this because lamb is one of the easiest meats that I've ever prepared in my life. So before I start showing y'all what to do, don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share my video because you're not gonna wanna miss out on all of the different recipes that are going to be displayed in my future videos, okay? Don't forget, like my video, subscribe to my channel and share my video. Okay, so without further ado, let's get it going. First of all, I have my oven preheated at 375. Now, it all depends on, I guess, what, um, how you want your lamb cooked. I cook my lamb really well. So I put it at 375, I let it sit for about 20 minutes covered, and then I take off the foil and I let it broil. Like, I like my lamb well well done okay so here goes a i'm, I'm going to show you guys a peak of my lamb waiting to go in the oven doesn't this look putting i put some potatoes and carrots in here i normally don't but i just decided to do it this time around because i did it with my turkey for thanksgiving and the potatoes and the carrots tasted so good cooking with the turkey so i decided to do the same thing for the lamb we'll see how that goes let me show you guys um what I season my lamb with. Come to my cupboard, come over here. First of all, I use some adobo. You can't go wrong with adobo. Next, I use some dash, the salt-free one. Then I use garlic salt. I got the cheap brand, y'all. I told y'all how I get down. Y'all know what it is. I got Cayenne, I love me some cayenne. I love a kick. I have salt. And then I put some black pepper. And before I did all of that, I washed the lamb off. I got um, lamb, sh lamb shoulder. Um, so I washed it off and I used some regular vinegar just to let it marinate in it to kill any bacteria and to make it taste Awesome. So I seasoned it up, chopped up some onions, chopped up some celery, covered it up and let it sit overnight. I'm a big fan in making my meat marinate overnight. I'm just, I grew up doing that and that's how you get the best taste. So now we're going to take my piece of foil, put it over my lamb and we're gonna throw it into the oven. So that's literally it. The, the biggest part is the getting the seasoning right. So we're gonna throw this in. And because like I said, this wasn't really, I didn't plan to do this, so I didn't have a, an elaborate meal planned. But what I'm gonna make is probably some white rice on the side. 
and a simple garden salad because I always buy vegetables and then I don't eat them right away and it goes bad. And y'all know I already told y'all I don't I don't play about money. So um yeah, and then I was considering at one point to do plantains, but they've already passed the point of um being able to do patacones. So at this point, I'm just gonna wait for them to go right and I'll probably put them on the side with another meal. So that's out of it. So it's gonna be a garden salad, white rice, and my lamb. So stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I actually changed my mind. I decided that I'm going to do a yellow slash or, or orange rice um, instead of white rice. So that's what I'm about to do right now. So I have my oil going. I chopped up some uh, garlic, some onions, some green and red peppers. Let's turn this down a little bit. Some green and red peppers. And before I forget with the lamb, I also chopped up, when I put it to season overnight, I chopped up uh, onions. I mean, I chopped up garlic. I didn't remember to say that when I was talking about what I chopped up, so. I did chop up garlic. You can never forget garlic. And I turned up the lamb to 425, and it's still covered in the oven. Right now I have the stove on low. Turn the heat up a little bit on it. That smells so good. So now I said yellow slash orange rice because I have this sazon. I don't have this sazon con safran. The, um, that one will have the, that will give you more of a yellow pig, uh, color. But this one will give you more of an orange color. I don't really mind, so I'm gonna make it work. So now I'm gonna throw my sasong in. If you use packets, I put in about eight packets because that would be about two, uh, two, two uh, teaspoons or tablespoons. Let me make sure I'm telling you guys the right thing. Yeah, so one packet is about one fourth of a teaspoon so I put in eight and that um I wash my rice I'm gonna drain off this water real fast. I washed my rice. That was about, I would say this is two cups, about two cups and a half of water. And I'm gonna put in two cups and a half of rice. So I'm actually gonna put this to boil. I'm gonna go ahead and dump my rice in.
For my rice, I use canela rice. I like jasmine rice, but they didn't have it, so I went with what I had or what was available. A little bit of salt because that song has some salt already. Oop, I'm throwing the spoon or the fork. salt and I might throw some adobo and I told y'all I always throw adobo in for everything that's just what I do Let it come to a boil like if you're making regular rice. I'll be back. So I wanted y'all to see how my lamb looks. Now that I bumped it up to the 425, um, I'm going to show you how tender the potatoes are. So the fork, fork can go through, but it's going to cook more because now I'm going to make it broil. We got it to cook, but now we need it to get color. So now we're going to go to broil and we're going to pop it in uncovered. Okay, everyone, my meal is Finished. So I'm going to give you guys a quick glance at it. There goes my orange rice. There goes my potatoes and my carrots and my lamb. And then I just put a salad on the side, a simple, a simple garden salad with lettuce, tomatoes, and avocado. I put a dash of salt and I put some Italian dressing on top. And my drink of choice is going to be my water because I did a lousy job. Look at that. I'm on... 12 p.m. and right now it's 7 p.m. and I haven't finished a bottle so yeah I have to get that done so thank y'all for watching I hope that it was a useful video stay tuned because there'll be many many more